In this video, we will be discussing about the application of Henderson's theory in nursing process. The case scenario is uh, Mrs. James. She is 72 years old, female. She got admitted to the hospital on 28 3, 2020. And she is married, uh, but she is widow and uh, she has two children. They live away. Then she is from Christian religion and she knows uh, Hindi and English. She works as a volunteer worker and she has the interest in gardening and active in club and she got diagnosed as a left-sided cerebrovascular accident. Her chief complaints are left-sided weakness and also she is a left-handed person. The personal and social history says she lives in her own home. Now she now it is a four bedded room and frequently she reports a difficulty in sleeping after the hospital admission. And until she was hospitalized, she was used to used to, to sleep around uh, six to seven hours, and she has incontinence at all the times. And she needs uh, assistance in bathing, feeding, etc. And she misses her friends and describes herself as mess. And she believes in independence, likes to interact with the same age group. Coming to the nursing care plan, in the assessment phase, we will be focusing about the fourteen components of basic. Uh, nursing care. So here Mrs. James is uh, diagnosed as left sided weakness and also she is a left handed person. So the component 2 that is eat and drink uh, adequately that will be relating to this assess uh, assessment. So in the next step is the nursing diagnosis. Here we are relating the deficits to the uh, deficits in the ability to function. So the nascent diagnosis will be feeding self-care deficit related to left, uh, left handed weakness. Then uh, coming to the intervention, here we will be focusing on identifying the 14 components. So the patient is uh, identified as uh, difficulty in feeding or deficit in feeding. So here the planning will be done uh, to make the patient able to feed herself with her right hand. So this should lead to independence. The planning phase should lead uh, independence in the part of on the part of Mrs. James. So coming to the implementation phase, here we will be carrying out the plan uh, to make the patient independent. So here we will be feed, uh, we will feed the uh, patient while teaching her to use her right hand to feed herself. The last phase is evaluation. So here we are relating how to how soon and how well Mrs. James is able to feed herself with her right hand. So it is a step by step process. So we can write like this for the first three days she needed as she need needed to be fed by some somebody else maybe by the nurse and by the fourth day she was able to hold the utensils and she fed herself with assistance and by seventh day that is after one week uh, after identifying the problem after one week she was able to feed herself if the food was in a bite size so this is about the nursing uh, care plan uh, with application of henderson's nursing 14 basic needs so this is very easy to apply in the nursing uh, care process thank you